you aspiring to be somebody's hero and forgetting just to be her husband or his dad or her father. And that's why you're all not connected because you only care about flying in and saving the day. And she just wanna sit and talk. And as men, when you do this hard work, you will start to learn that there's nothing that has more value than your presence. But when you play in the hero, look at all the things you have to do before you show up. And for many of y'all, I see a room full of men who are willing to stand with you, but if you don't build the relationships, when you face your next speed bump, life can take you out the game. But the problem is y'all still afraid to just be like, this is me. And that's where brotherhood is. Brotherhood is like, this is me. You think I believe you're perfect? You think I don't script my Instagram stuff too? Like I know this stuff, let's be real. And I think for many men, the illusion of being the superhero and doing life alone has taken over. And it's scary because life will happen. Like I firmly believe in being very intentional about what you want and about what you're doing. Like the Pope says it, you judge the character of a man not by what they stand in times of comfort and convenience, you judge the character of a man by what they stand in times of challenge and controversy. And then situations and circumstances change and the words that they once spoke, it means nothing to them. Right, and their actions betray their words. When they say legacy, and then when they don't get what they thought they were gonna get, the words that they once spoke, it means nothing to them. When I look into my son's eyes in the morning, I understand as a father, as a husband, the greatest gift I can ever give to my son, it isn't money, it isn't a car, it isn't a house. The greatest gift I could ever give to my son is showing him that I love his mother. The greatest gift I can ever give to my daughter is saying that I love you and showing them that I honor and I love their mother and no situation or circumstance will ever disrupt that, will ever take that away from me. And so when I say something, the only way you can stop me from doing it is you gotta take my life before you take my drive. It makes me wanna go back, like I said earlier, and take an inventory of my life, look at some things, things that I can adjust, things that I can do better. I just got so many nuggets. One in particular stuck out to me when it says, if you don't pay attention to the details, you'll pay the price. For anybody that hasn't came, if you want to level up, if you want to master manhood, I feel like it's a must. And you know, you, you definitely have to come, definitely come out. Even if you don't sign up, come check it out. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you'll be disappointed. So we have to make sure that we focus on being real men. And a lot of times that selfishness is what stops us from being real men because we worried about what we want when we want it and how we want it. We the top dog. The male, the male, the man, whatever you want to call it is at the top. So at the end of the day, what's the point of sitting here complaining about other individuals not feeling our pain? Or not understanding what it is that we go through? That's what we got the brotherhood for. Other men on top. To understand what it is that we go through. You got to have something that you got. You got to have something to stand on. What's your value? You gotta have something to be able to sustain everything, the hurricanes, the storms, everything that's gonna come your way as a man. Because if you can't sustain it, you're gonna falter. And who is gonna be left to pick up those pieces? Your family, your girls, your wives, your kids. We gotta set a precedent and set a stage. You talking about legacy. Legacy takes 50 years to create, 50. A lot of manhood is being scared. Like we scared of a lot of stuff, but we still push through anyway. But you only push through when you think it's a benefit for you. That's the problem. It ain't about us. You gotta push through fear when it's for your family as well. When it's for your kids as well. When it's for your brother as well. Most people overestimate who they actually are and they underestimate who they have the ability to become. And the reason that's relevant is this. I spent many years overestimating who I was. And as a result of doing that, I was getting results, but I wasn't getting the kind of results that I'm getting today, the results that would allow me to say, I feel like I'm actually optimizing who I am. I hope you showed up to say, I want to connect with some powerful bros, some of the most powerful men in the world are in this room without question, but also to say, I got to get some personal results when I leave a body. You are capable of producing whatever it is you say you want. You can't do it off minimal or nominal effort. You can't get Kendall's results and you have doing it. It does not happen. It's no way to do that. And I want to emphasize that. Don't think because you're the man, maybe the man in your family or you were the man on campus, it does not happen. Whatever you got to give, give it during the time you got. That's what I meant. In the moment, give the moment everything you got in the moment. No excuses, no exceptions, no, 
No, I can't because fuck that. Yes, you can. I need, I need everything. I need blood, I need sweat, I need tears. I need everything you got. And it's our mentality that's killing us, fella. It's not your talent, I know. It's not your talent, it's the mentality. One thing that I'm gonna take from this event is when they say you have the capability of doing more. And I believe that I've been shortchanging my own potential. And today it just challenged me to you know, really look within myself and find out what more can I be doing as a man. The ability to communicate with people and ask questions that you need answers to or get solutions you're having problems with, it's uncomparable. You, you can't even get that from friends sometimes in real life. And you have it here and you have so many people that you can really just rely on and, and value their input and it's really a unique kind of group. I purposely did this like this. This ain't no conference. I'm tired of us people, men, whoever, coming to conferences. Yeah, go ahead. Or you at church and you like, come on. And you don't remember, you go fall out on the oil. We pour a bottle of oil on you. You get excited and you don't do a damn thing when you leave. I'm sick of it. Every man in here, you a producer. And if you're just talking, you just, I like to look at social media and you ain't producing a damn thing, somebody counting on you. The problem is you ain't doing a damn thing with the information. And so one of the things I want all of us to get from this is production. I want us to produce. You a man, you should be what? Producing. I don't care, you got these, I got a dream. I wanna go do this. It's a dream. It might not be your season to get into that. And look, there's nothing wrong with working a job and building your part-time business. There is nothing wrong with work. Play around if you want to. This life ain't for the faint of heart. I gotta wake up every day and turn nothing into something. Every single day, you'll realize that the more you make, the bigger the responsibility. But here's the thing. If you go out and you earn the money, you'll be more responsible with it because you will know I can't just be giving this out. I told my wife last week, I don't care who called. We ain't got it. Growing up in Newark, New Jersey, you're not around men all the time. Um, and when you are, you're always competing against one another. You're never really developing a relationship with another individual, especially another man. And this event, this event today allowed me to network, to come out of my shell, to be vulnerable, establish relationships, establish business partnerships, and grow myself. And that's the noble truth. In whatever industry you in, you need to be a master in that industry. You coming to every damn conference, you on every social media piece, and you ain't taking no time to master what it is that you do. My wife don't eat, and she really, I'm talking about the pressure. When I pulled off a job, that's six figures a year. I felt that pressure. I still feel the pressure. I gotta produce. Not only do I gotta at least keep doing what I was doing, bare minimum, I gotta cover her six. I ain't got time to play games. And I think that we're playing too many games. We ain't doing enough. Remember you wrote down, you have the capacity to do more. So like B said, when we come here, we G-men, this is a brotherhood. And we're gonna master manhood, life. But we're gonna master money, business. Because you gotta produce. We men, G-men, we men.